Okay, so we're going to do a quick tutorial here on how to use SEMrush and Keyword.io as well to come up with all the different words we want to use in an article. Uh, generally, this could be a piece of content, whether it be for uh, your own site or a client site or whatever it might be. The goal with any blog post or piece of content that we put up is generally always to rank it for the primary keyword we want, but also to get lots of traffic for um, related keywords. So latent semantic indexing, LSI keywords is something that people uh, toss around a lot in the SEO world or inbound marketing world and the idea behind LSI is uh, there are related words that should show up on a page with the main keyword. So let me give you an example here. If we had an article that was about US presidents then Google's algorithm knows there's a really high degree uh, or really high chance that words like you know George Bush or Barack Obama or Donald Trump should show up on this page because they show up on other pages that talk about um, the US president. So if we take this, we're going to do some research here for heat pump uh, water heater. Right? I'm going to open up a text edit file here and we'll make it big so everybody can see who's watching. All right, so that's our main keyword, heat pump water heater. So what we're going to do is two things. Uh, we use SEMrush for this, uh, which I highly recommend. If you don't have an account, you should grab one, even if it's just for a month to do initial research. There's a link in the description below uh, to get that. And we're going to just go here. We're going to type in that word, heat pump water heater. We're looking at US details. They've got a variety of other country data as well. When we scroll down, we see there's 9,900 searches a month. But here's what we want. We want phrase match and related keywords is what we're going to look for. So I'm going to click view full report here. There's actually saying there's 184 words with a heat pump water heater in it. And we don't necessarily want them all, but we do want to take a look and see what we've got here. So heat pump water heater, electric heat pump water heater. Heat, you know, some of these are similar, some of these are different. So we obviously want to probably include the electric. Uh, hybrid, uh, Ream, which is a Ream's a brand. I'm very familiar with this industry as we built an offline business that sold this stuff. GE, General Electric makes one of these, as does A.O. Smith. So when you start to see these keywords, you can start to think, hey, how would I include these? Well, easy. I'm going to list maybe three or four different brands. Maybe I'd list the A.O. Smith, GE, and Ream Hot Water Heater, right? Lowe's, I'd skip that because we're looking at creating content for our contractor, so we're not trying to throw them to Lowe's or Home Depot. Reviews, this isn't going to really be a review. Water Heater, Heat Pump, Best Heat Pump, Water Heater. Probably take the best. That's not a bad word. We've got hybrid in there. Uh, Energy Star, that's probably worthwhile. That's a so you get the point. We're gonna we're gonna grab some related words now. An older way of creating content like this used to be you'd take every one of these words and you'd write an article for each one. Would not recommend that anymore. I would focus more on creating a fifteen hundred to two thousand word article that would sort of work in a whole lot of these terms. So that's how I'd use SEMrush to do this uh, in terms of how to filter this. Now another place that we check, we use this, this is a free tool, keyword.io. Now what this does, I'm going to put heat pump hot water, is that my root word? Yeah, heat pump water heater. I'm going to go search. What this does is it, it, it grabs all the Google suggest terms. So when you do a search in Google, like if I do one now, take this when I do that search, there's going to be a bunch of suggested terms at the bottom. Oops, my apologies. But this is going to be the same premise. When I scroll all the way to the bottom, you'll see suggestions, right? Pros and cons. Actually, there's a really good word. I want that one. I bet you that's going to show up on the other side. Heat pump water heater versus electric versus gas. These are good words to include in here and to potentially be uh, part of our overall. I'm going to say no. Don't have to sign up for this. So let's just take a look here. If I go versus, I bet you versus. There's 18 words it says. So if I filter on that, you can see that. Look, heat pump water heater versus gas. Geyser, indirect, natural. Geyser is actually a competitor product of this. Electric, you're starting to get the point here. Solar, tankless, right? So a great option, great ideas here to include for subheadings, uh, but also for uh, words to include in the article. Now, keep in mind here, I know it's very easy to get caught up in volume, search volume, right? 9,900, 1,000, whatever the search volume of a particular keyword might be in Google. Those are always estimates. And if you look at, if you have Google Search Console, previously known as Webmaster Tools installed on your site, I hope you do, um, it's, it's got so much data in there for words that you're showing up for that you would never think of that are definitely not showing up in Google's Keyword Planner, SEMrush, SpyFu, um, 
the, you know, uh, keyword.io, any of these tools, right? So that's what you want to do. You want to you want to use SEMrush as your primary source to find out what word you want to target, and then look for derivatives of that word, other phrase match related words. Phrase match meaning it has the main first word in it, and then we're creating a long tail version of it. Long tail meaning it's more words combined with the first one. And then also take a look at keyword.io. If I get rid of this versus, and then I look, there's 443 words they came back with. Some of these are useful, some of these aren't, but you can see them all here, right? Add on, American Heat Pump, Water Heater, Best, tons of options. So use these tools uh, to create your keyword list when you're creating your articles.